Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on two roads. Two roads diverged in a wood. I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference, so said Robert Frost. In Matthew 7, 13 and 14, we note Jesus talking about two types of roads. He said, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life and only a few find it. Jesus Christ compared the way to life with a narrow road and the way to destruction with a broad road. Broad road is the easy way of floating downstream in the course of this world. One can easily sail in it without much effort and thought. It takes in multitudes and keeps them. This way doesn't require spiritual maturity, moral character, commitment and sacrifice. Jesus said, Many will enter through the wide gate and move through the wide road. The many would probably refer to all who do not take the words of Christ seriously. The broad road is easy, pleasing and attractive. There are few rules, few restrictions and requirements. Here, sin is tolerated and the truth is diluted. Here, the word of God is pronounced but not studied and applied. Here, the ways of God are admired but not followed. On the other hand, narrow road is the way of holiness and is hardly chosen. The narrow road is not smooth and walker friendly. Few go there, traveling mostly in solitude and singularity. We are not in heaven as soon as we pass the narrow gate. We would be walking through the narrow road with all inconveniences and wilderness type of experience. Here we are likely to be persecuted and face oppositions. Here we have to deny ourselves and would be asked to give up our inclination to the world. Entering the narrow gate would require efforts and diligence. Here one needs to strive and swim against the stream to keep going. Walking through the narrow road would mean keeping our lust under control, winning over temptations and overcoming the desires of the flesh. We can have many paths to take in life, but God's way is the only one that leads to eternal life. We cannot walk on two roads in two different directions at the same time. The fact that everybody does it is no proof that what they are doing is right. Surprisingly, only a small number of disciples chose to follow Jesus by the end of his ministry. The thousands that followed him like a celebrity apparently left him on the way. Jesus wants us to be on the right road where the entrance is somewhat difficult for it demands self-denial and calls for strictness of obedience. Following Jesus requires crucifying our flesh, living by faith, enduring trials with Christ like patience and living a lifestyle set apart for God from the world. May God enable us to choose the right road and move on steadily 
along with Christ in our daily life. Grace and guidance of God be with you. Thank you for listening. God bless you.